Good morning children. Today we are going to see another figures of speech that is transferred epithet. Okay. Till now which all figures of speech I uh, taught you. Let us revise it. Alliteration, repetition, then simile, metaphor and what? Personification. Good. You remember. Then two more. Which? Hyperbole and and and. Don't remember. Just go through the videos. And check out what all I have taught. In that may you will revise also. One more which I taught was antithesis. Fine. Now we will see which one. In the previous video I have taught you hyperbole. Hyperbole. Now today we will see transferred epithet. Okay. Transferred. From the name itself you can understand what it is. Isn't it? Transferred epithet. What is there? Transfer. Means you are transferring from one thing to another. That is the meaning of that transferring. Transfer epithet in this figure of speech. The quality, the human quality, uh, the adjective or noun which is possessed by a human. Okay. Is transferred to another object or another thing. Or another thing which is not related to that person. Got it? What I am telling, transfer epithet means the adjective or noun is transferred from that particular thing to another or from that particular person to another. Okay, the human quality is transferred from that particular person to another thing. Okay, in personification what is there? The difference between two? In personification you give the human quality to a non-living object. Okay, what you do? You give human quality to non-living object. But here in transfer epithet, you understand properly that this adjective belongs to that human. It is just transferred. That means it is just change in the position of the words. That's it. Got it? Let me give you an example. Okay? And don't confuse it with inversion. In inversion, you have the words are not arranged in proper order. You have to arrange in proper order. But transfer epithet, it is just a single word is transferred from a particular person to another. Example. Okay. This is the common example which you find. I spent a sleepless night. Okay. With this you understand the meaning. What? All night I didn't sleep. That is the meaning of that. I spent a sleepless night. But where that sleepless is? It is next to? It is before night. That means night is sleepless? No. Who is sleepless? I. The human quality sleepless is transferred to night. So, what you will say? Sleepless is transferred from the human to whom? To night. Got it? Transferred epithet. Understood? What? The human quality, sleeplessness, which belongs, sleeplessness, which is belonging to the human beings, is transferred to the light. That is transfer epithet. Let me give you another example. These all are common examples, okay, which if you will read in the poem, you will get it. Then lay. His icy hands on the king. Okay. Now death, what is death? It is laying its icy hands on the king. Does death have any hands? Have you seen it? No. Death doesn't have any hand. Who is having hand? The king is having hand. Okay. Now once a person... Or a living thing dies. What happens? His body fully becomes very cold. Okay. The normal temperature or the heat which is there in the body gets vanished and it freezes. Okay. And then starts decomposing. So, who is having the icy hands? Now the king is dead. And his hands have become very cold. Okay. So, the word icy hands is being transferred from the king to the death. 
Okay? Mm -hmm. Understood now? So, I see hands has been transferred from the king to death. That is transferred attitude. Understood thoroughly? Mm -hmm. Very good. Go through the other figures of speech also and practice. Thank you.